Good afternoon or morning. Welcome to camp. So this is Saturday and on this video you're going to see our nature experience as we got onto our property. And then you're going to see what we are doing to prepare to go on vacation, what we have to do for the RV because we have seven weekends from today till we leave. And then um, what we're doing to get the grounds ready for our future cabin. So there's a lot of work to be done before we can even get the tractor at the cabin site to be able to start working on pouring footings and putting up piers and all that. So that's what this video is about. And we even stopped to have some fun. So, oh, and there's some danger in the air. So stay tuned and watch. Thanks. Harper, we get to camp and look at there's a bunny rabbit. Let's zoom in. Look at the bunny. Probably got some babies too. We haven't got out because we'll spook it. Okay, I'm gonna let grandpa go get it. Come on, Grandpa, scare it away. It doesn't even seem to care. <laughs> wow. We're going to name him Peter Cottontail. This is our new Peter. Our last Peter got eaten by coyotes. Okay, bye, bunny. Oh, Peter. Peter, you need to draw. You need to move. Peter, get to going. Oh my gosh. Okay, now he's gone. <laughs> okay, we're here. We're gonna go back and see if the pump, the uh, hand dug well that we dug last year or year before, I can't remember is still working. So, haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting wet. Oh, we're still getting water. No good, not really. So the goal, there's a little pocket down there that we're trying to make bigger. So the more we pump it. You moving when we dug it. So it's a pretty good size where it just moves like that. It works. We can get enough water to wipe off the tractor or something. I don't know. Water things. Water plants. Well, it works. Water Harper's flowers. Harper's flowers! Okay, Dwayne is taking the skirting off of the RV. Where are you going to store all this? Right there. So in a previous video, Dwayne built these um, to help improve the winterization of the Outback and it worked great. It also kept all the critters out from underneath our RV. We had zero problems. Nothing lives under there. I even had to climb underneath it once to hide from a bear. See, look how crystal clear it is. It's so clean. So these were from Harbor Freight? Yeah, that's my, the original Class C solar charging plant that uh, we've been just constantly using. It was just wired in with this other. So, and it is just always essentially trickling into the RV batteries, keeping. Yeah, we ended up putting the energy. The energies. But I've got the original batteries that I'm going to bring back over here because they actually fit in the tray. And this I'm just moving aside for now, using them someplace else. We can probably use those on one of the little mini A-frame cabins that we want to build. Yeah, sure can. They work good. 
They'll run a, a small little LED light. Okay, one of the other projects we're gonna do is try to figure out why our cell booster quit working. So we moved it and there's the control thing. And so we were reading, maybe it's because that control thing and its antenna is too close to that. So I'm gonna reroute everything and move this and the antenna as far away from each other as I can get to see if it'll start working again. Otherwise, we have to buy a new one. Ugh. Okay, I pulled it as far as as it'll go over here, and it still doesn't work. Still barely get one bar, so it's the antenna or something. I don't know. Oh, wow, this works. Okay, so Alan gave us a selfie stick Richard, just for you, so we can film. And it even comes with a super fancy, I can turn the camera on and off while I'm away from the camera. So now you might be asking, what are we doing and why? So let me show you real quick. So this is a bunch of wood get out of the thing this is a bunch of wood that we pulled off the cabin and the really wide planks and so we want to use these to build ATV um, little bridges across different parts of the property because certain times of the year the water is flowing and so this will be so much easier to cross the creek and the plan is to use this denail all of this this and that and see what's usable and then everything over there in that pile the majority of it is for burning so we'll just cut it up and burn it as we go because it's not in decent shape and so that's what i'm doing and he is still working on switching over the propane putting it getting the original bottles and stuff ready to hook up for camp. But right now we're hooked up to our 10,000 gallon tank. These big ones we're gonna put back in storage. We bought these for the future cabin. So that's what's going on right now. We're gonna have to uh, replace this pigtail right here, this rubber pigtail, because by being bent across like that for so long and heat, it's got dry cracks. This one's fine, as far as I can see. Yeah, this is fine. But this is an emergency one that we had for changing out the big bottles. So we'll just carry this. I'll throw it in the truck. These aren't actually running right now, right? It's no, hooked up to the no, big No, we're one. on the big tank. Okay. But that doesn't happen until the day that we leave, or the, the week before we go, I'll hook everything up. The, okay. That's disconnecting that flex there into this right down here. So every goal that you have out here on and off get his property takes a lot to get that one goal done. So one of our goals is to be able to pull this RV back out and go on vacation. So in order to do that, we have all this stuff we have to do, like remove propane tanks, clear out the front. It's very time consuming. Then the off grid property goal is to be able to build the cabin. Well, in order to do that, we have to painstakingly remove one board at a time and remove all the nails at like board by board. It's very tedious and time consuming. So we'll be super happy if this fall we have the cabin 
cleared of the ground and we can actually get in there with this tractor and dig the footings so we can start putting poor footings and put in the piers so that next year, because winter will come before we can get it done, but hopefully by next year, the piers will be in and then we can start the floor, put up walls and actually start building this cabin. So what you're watching is all the work that has to be done in order to make that dream come become a reality. So keep watching. So, there's a fire near us. This is... Oh man, I don't know. Oh, look! Right there. See the pink smoke? Oh man, I hope so, not. That's Squall Belly. Well, it is like entirely too hot to be working right now. So we're gonna go for an ATV ride and uh, go see if our sister-in-law and brother-in-law are here. Oh, it's hot. So we just got back from our ride and there is a definitely a fire somewhere close to us. It is so hot, but check this out. This is what I got done out of the this pile and this is how many nails just so you can appreciate this can you appreciate the hard work okay let me go show you our lumber yard this is our lumber yard These are all stuff we've resourced from the cabin. And the plan is to someday make a bunch of, or at least one little meat, mini A-frame. Like a, just a, se a seasonal, like a three season A-frame, no insulation, like a camping A-frame. Uh, like a 10 by 20 is what we're thinking that we can build with like this stuff. Cut the bad ends off and still use it. <sighs> but we're about Later, done. It's a wonderful thing. Don't you love labor? <laughs> Keeps labor you. Of love. love labor. Love labor. Yeah, well, labor hurts. This is definitely a painful en endeavor. endeavor. Okay, well, that's the end of our weekend. Um, this is Saturday. I think we're going to take a day off tomorrow. Yeah, I think we deserve a day off. We've worked seven days a week. 
Okay. Between two places. Yes. So. All right. And watching Harper. Yes, but she's not a job. Yeah, she's not a job. She's a, a love fest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you guys. We'll let you go. Talk to you later. Bye.